hi everyone uh, in today's video i will show you guys how to use the scientific calculator to find cosecant secant and cotangent values this is part of the basic math lesson for mariners and this is part three so let me first explain what is cosecant secant and cotangent values and then i will show you how to use the scientific calculator to find these values simply and easily all right so please make sure you watch till the end uh, what is cosecant now i'm sure you have heard of uh, trigonometry right and trigonometry and there you go my spelling is not right right so in trigonometry we have a sine theta cos theta and tan theta all right and of course i have explained the difference between uh, plane and uh, spherical triangles in plane triangles i have explained what is sine cos tan you can find the link to those videos below uh, today's video is not explaining what is sine cos and tan it's going to explain what is cosecant secant and cotangent so I'm assuming you all know what is sine, cos and tan. All right, but I'll give you a quick brief. So if this is a right triangle triangle and these trigonometry is only for a right angle triangle. All right, so this is the 90 degree angle and say this is theta, right? So this is known as base, right? This is base and the longest side is known as hypotenuse and this is known as the opposite side right so if you have to find uh, sine theta all you have to write is sine theta equals opposite side upon hypotenuse right that is sine theta all right similarly cos theta is base on hypotenuse and tan theta is opposite side upon base so i don't want to go through all that i just thought i'll quickly give you a brief on what sine cos and tan is so what is cosecant so cosecant theta there will be times when you will have to find this value is nothing but one upon sine theta right so that means if i want to find cosecant and this is also known as cosec all right so we shorten it to cosec theta so we call it cosec theta it's the same thing cosecant is cosec cosec theta equals one by sine theta so if I have to find the value of let's say cosec 30 degrees I will find I can find the value of 1 by sine 30 degrees and the answer is same if you're wondering what that sound was that was a fire alarm going on so uh, no problem no fire yet all right we are safe so cosecant theta is equal to 1 by sine 30 degrees so cosecant 30 is equal to 1 by sine 30 degrees so in your calculator if you have to find the value of cosecant 30 degrees you can actually type in 1 by sine 30 degrees and you will find the answer but there is another way where you can find the cosecant value directly and I'll show you later on how to do that when I take up some examples and I'll show you how to use the calculator I will show you how you can there are two ways to get the values of the cosecant right similarly what is secant theta secant theta is also known as sec theta that is a shortened version sec theta is nothing but equal to one upon cos theta right so if i have to find the value of sec 40 degrees it's nothing but one divided by cos 40 degrees so if you type one divided by cos 40 degrees in the calculator you will get the same value of secant 40 degrees all right i'll show you later on how to do that as well right so but i will also show you how to directly go into the calculator and find the value of secant 40 degrees without typing one upon cos 40 degrees right and then i have cotangent theta cotangent theta this is also known as cot theta the shortened version is cot theta so we don't say cotangent we say cot theta which is nothing but equal to one upon tan theta right so similarly if you want to find the value of cot 60 degrees it's nothing but equal to 1 upon tan 60 degrees 
so in your scientific calculator you can either press 1 upon tan 60 degrees or i'll show you how to find the value of cot 60 degrees directly without typing 1 upon tan 60 degrees all right so i'll show you how you can use two methods to get the same answer so let's get started and i'll show you the calculator use so remember i will find cosecant 30 secant 40 and cot 60 degrees remember these values and when i go and show you the calculator now i will show you both ways of finding the value all right guys so the first thing i will find is the value of cosecant 30 degrees all right so first i can do is like i told you whether it's cosecant 30 or it's 1 divided by sine 30 it's the same thing so what can you do here you can press 1 and then divided by all right 1 divided by and then you can press sign bracket opens 30 press degrees here right close the bracket and then press equal to when you press equal to you will get the answer as 2 so cosecant 30 can be found by 1 divided by sine 30 which the answer is 2 all right now let's find out the value of cosecant 30 without pressing 1 by sine 30 let's see how we can do that all right so what i'll do is watch carefully otherwise you'll get confused all right so remember i told you that cosecant 30 is also equal to 1 by sine 30 so what can you do is you can press sign here all right press sign the way you would then press x inverse all right x inverse see this button press x inverse and then type 30 d 3 0 press degrees close the bracket and press the equal to sign you can see the answer is still the same it's 2 so whether i press 1 divided by sine 30 i still get cosecant 30 or i use the x inverse button i can get the same answer let's try the same thing for secant and cotangent so secant i said was i would find for 40 degrees right so i can either press 1 so you watch the screen you know how to type it anyway 1 divided by cos of 40 degrees brackets close equals 1.3054 all right this is cosecant 40 degrees so sorry secant 40 degrees so sec 40 degrees or secant 40 degrees is equal to 1 by cos 40 degrees so if you press 1 divided by cos 40 degrees the answer you get is equal to secant 40 degrees or sec 40 degrees but there's another way like i showed you before what you have to do is press cos all right and if you press x inverse this button here automatically you are now finding out 1 by cos or which is called the secant so if i press 40 degrees now and i press degrees as well remember to close the bracket i didn't close the bracket did i here i close the bracket and i pressed enter i still get the same answer 1.305407 right now let's find out for cotangent or cot theta right so cot theta is equal to 1 divided by tan theta so if i'm trying to find the value of cot 60 degrees what can i do i will do 1 by 1 divided by tan of 60 degrees all right close the bracket the answer i get is 0 0.57735 so on so cot theta is equal to 1 divided by tan theta so cot 60 is equal to 1 divided by tan 60 which is equal to 0 0.577 however there is another way of finding these values if i press tan theta then i press the x inverse button remember the x inverse button i press the x inverse button and now i press 60 degrees 60 degrees close the bracket and i press enter i still get the same answer 0 0.57735 
So this is the way I can use the scientific calculator to find the values of cosecant theta, secant theta and cotangent theta or cosec, sec and cot theta which are inverse values of or 1 by sin theta or 1 by cos theta or 1 by tan theta. In my next video I will show you how you can find the inverse values. So how can you go inverse of cot, secant and cosecant. Alright, thank you for watching the video guys and let me know if you are liking these videos and finding them useful to improve your basic math knowledge.